Hey guys, it's Cab Over Gary back here. Well, I got myself a new toy. So as you know, I've been trimming up around all these trees here and uh, well, I bought something uh, that's probably overkill, but it's been pretty fun to use and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so I thought I'd share it with you guys so you guys know uh, it's a good product and stuff like that. So what I bought is a Steel FS251 string trimmer. It's got the bicycle base or handlebar style grips on it. And I have like a chainsaw blade on it now because I'm about to go trim around those trees. I also have a grass blade uh, that I think will do good on the briars. I actually haven't tried that yet. yet. But uh, this weed eater is 2.7 horsepower. So it's a pretty good size little weed eater uh, and the harness uh, makes it so it's pretty easy to use pretty effortless and the big thing about the harness is it keeps it from being able to kick back and getting you because uh i mean that's that'll take off a leg if you could so with the harness on it can't come back because it's tied to you um but yeah let me set you up and uh we'll do a little trimming over here So guys, this thing does pretty good. Uh, there's so many vines in here that it doesn't do that great on. But as you can see, like it was cutting down three inch trees without a problem, like going right through them. I think I'm gonna switch to the grass head and see if I could clear out the grass around here first and then uh, come back.
Hey guys, I really like this grass blade, this three blade thingy. Uh, and it's also reversible too, so you get two cutting ends to wear out. But uh, what I was doing with it is I was kind of like setting it down on top of the grass. So I was mulching it as I do it. Uh -huh. And it would cut about that size. So yeah, that's... That's about as much as that grass blade would cut through. Um, the saw blade one, it cut as much as you wanted, except for like, well, I mean, you have the distance of the blade to work with. So uh, like this, I cut this down. But uh, let's go over where I cut down something bigger. So yeah, I cut this down. So pretty good stuff. That's one width of it. Well, the limiting factor is the distance from the edge of the blade to the center of the bearing of it. Uh, I guess you could cut halfway in one side, halfway in the other, but uh, that's about the thickness as you could do one direction. But yeah, it cuts that stuff down in a matter of seconds. It also delims pretty fast, as you saw in the first part of that video. And this where I was mulching all that stuff down. Uh, so, you know, this stuff was a foot and a half, two feet tall. And I was just setting it down on it, and it was just chopping it up into fine parts doing that, so I don't have to pick it up or anything. Uh, so, yeah, I did around the trees that I haven't done yet. So, uh, well, not over here. But over here, I think this uh, FS251, it was hard to get. It was kind of hard to find. Uh, I don't know if it's just that in my area in Texas, people don't typically buy almost a three horsepower weed eater or what the deal is, but uh, I had one place that uh, wouldn't order it for me, that's a steel dealer. Uh, they said they had to order two to get it and they wouldn't do that. And then uh, I called all over and finally one place that had multiple store locations had it. And they were easy to work with. It was called LSM Outfitters. Uh, the one I used was in Denton. They transferred it from their Keller store. I'm in Texas, North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth area. Uh, but they were great, uh, easy to work with. They did give me the wrong harness and toolkit at first, uh, but they called me and let me know that they had the right ones. So I thought that was pretty big of them to not let me have the wrong setup. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would I would use them. They uh, were very friendly and got me my stuff I needed and uh yeah yeah I think uh I think this is gonna be a very valuable tool out here as I want to keep uh all these trees trimmed up and stuff like that and uh to get through those briars and stuff I needed a blade and the reason why I went that big I know that I could have put a blade on any of them probably but uh I didn't want to put a blade on one that still didn't have in their chart to put a blade on. And then when I was looking at it, I was looking at an FS-131, which was like one of the smaller ones that they have a blade option for. But it's, uh, I think, 1.9 horsepower, and this one's 2.7, and it's like $130 more, which I know is a lot, but... I figured for almost a whole horsepower more in a weed eater, it was worth going up. Uh, since I was gonna do the bike handlebars, so I had to run, wear a harness anyway, so the weight 
extra couple pounds wasn't as big of a deal to me. Uh, now, if you're gonna have a D handle with a blade on it and be carrying it around, then I think I think it was about two pounds difference. I'm not sure on that, but uh, I think that might matter at that point. But uh, for how I'm using it, uh, extra few pounds don't really matter with the harness that uh, supports it all around your body. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, I bought all this stuff. I did not, no one gave me anything or anything like that. Uh, it's just an honest review of what I feel. Uh, this is the most powerful weed eater I've ever used. And uh, it really does a good job. Uh, I am a little bit of a still fanboy, I guess. That's what all my chainsaws are. But uh, yeah, I think it's good. Oh, and on that subject of the three big lines, you know, still Echo and Husqvarna. Uh, Echo doesn't make one. Their biggest one is 2.3 horsepower. Super hard to find that one. And then uh, in my area, at least. And then Husqvarna does make one that in a lot of uh, YouTube videos seems to be a beast. Uh, but I keep having people tell me they have problems with their Husqvarna's. And uh, I have yet to hear someone that says they have problems with their steel. So uh, I kept with the steel since I've had such good luck with their chainsaws. So I hope this video was informative and something you guys like. Uh, I guess I need to change the channel to Cabo Vigari and his farm. I don't know. Something like that. If you guys would comment below, I do want to add something to the channel name i would do want to keep the cab over gary but since i'm doing so much more with equipment and land maintenance uh i want to add something to the end of that for the name of uh the channel so uh you guys have any suggestions please leave them in the comment below i read every comment uh, i answer every comment and uh, i enjoy getting them and reading them from you guys so I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks again, as always.